Okay. So I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling across my YouTube uh, page, right? Because everybody's, you know, everybody's recommendation page is different. But I'm scrolling across my shit. I don't want to get the bad one. Every, I'm scrolling across my shit and I'm seeing uh, videos saying that Grandmaster Jed the NFAC has been arrested by the feds. And I haven't, yes I have, I, I looked at one video and do wasn't 100% sure he was telling everybody to go search it and find out whether it's really true or whether it's fake. That Grandmaster J had been picked up by the feds and I'm thinking it was for pointing a weapon at a federal agent. That's what they charging him with. Now, I don't know what anybody else saying about this yet. I haven't looked at anyone else's video other than that first one I just mentioned. But I'm going to say this. I don't know what the hell going on with Grandmaster J. I don't pretend to know. But if he, uh, on the one hand, on the one hand, if he was an agent of the CIA or the FBI or some other government agency playing it into the black community to, you know, do some sort of fucking mission they got, some sort of goddamn operation, like COINTELPRO or something. If he was an agent to do some shit like that, why would they be arresting him? Why would the feds be arresting him? Or, he is an agent. On the other hand, if he is an agent, maybe it's just the feds pulling him in for a little while to uh, reset his operation. I, tend, I don't know what the fuck going on, but I do know that when the feds feel like you might be a threat now or in the future, they got a way of marginalizing you. When the feds feel like you might be a, pose a threat to them, either right now or in the near future, hell, even the far future, they got a way of nu neutralizing you. That's why any musician that call himself conscious or waking up, especially them old school cats with them large followings, they find, all of a sudden they find themselves having a lot of problems. People would be amazed at the extent to which the CIA and the FBI and the NSA get into the lives of people and how closely they watch everybody. I mean, remember back when Donald Trump first got elected and it was all about black identity extremists? Well, I ain't heard that term in a long time, but trust and believe that they didn't back off from that. They didn't back off from that. And trust and believe if the uh, Grandmaster J was not an agent and was who he really said he was, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Now, I don't know what's going to become of it. I don't know what's going to become of it. I don't see Grandmaster J being stupid enough to point a weapon at, a, at somebody who he knew was a federal agent. They might have had somebody playing it within his organization or so, got somebody to say that um, he pointed a weapon at them or somebody that they made into a federal agent and made them say that Grandmaster J. But ain't no telling what the fuck the federal government did in order to arrest Grandmaster J. It, it just, it just, to me, the crazier it sounds, the more likely it is that, you know, that's what they did. That's what they did to be able to arrest him. I know there ain't nobody came and arrested Tariq Nasheed, 
Because, like you said, like I said in my other video, Tariq Nasheed is a salesman. That's all the fuck he is. He's a fucking salesman. Maybe, and, and, and the feds ain't fucking with him. Maybe he's the fucking agent. Because all he do is shoot down other movements. No matter who 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 come out the woodwork coming at it coming at our problem from a different direction, Tariq Nasheed want to clown them and put them down and throw dirt on their name and shit like that. But I digress from Tariq because I like I said I already know what he is, but I do know that when you get a movement that's a scary looking. As the NSA, as the NFAC looks to white people, when you get a movement that's a scary looking to white people, as the NFA, uh, NFAC is, then white people are gonna take note and they're gonna make moves to 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 neutralize you. I'm just hoping that even if even if, and I I really in my heart of hearts don't think that Grandmaster J is neutralized. He been arrested but not neutralized. But you arrest a man, but you don't arrest the idea. You, you, you oh, we don't have no permanent friends. We only have permanent interests. You could kill the man, but you can't kill the plan, and you can't kill the idea. So if Grandmaster J has been neutralized if and like I said just because he was arrested don't mean he was neutralized but if he has been then that to me says that the movement got to keep going on that don't mean this, that don't spell the end of the NFAC I remember when he first when he first when I first started seeing him and he first started talking to people and people were telling him that maybe he should have a front person or maybe he should lay low. And he was like, no, no, no. That might have been, that might have been something that he, sh he may have wanted to consider at that time. That's what I remember thinking. But he laid out a good argument as to why he wasn't, was, was going to be out front. He laid out a good, uh, good uh, reasoning for why he was out front. So, hey. It was I just, you know, I, man, it sounded like he knew what he was talking about. So, um, so now, after he's been arrested, you know, maybe that might have been something that he might have wanted to consider back then. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know this: all of the all of the so-called YouTubers and um, and I don't want to use the term black leaders, but black spokespeople, people with big YouTube channels, black people, black activists, pro-black people with big YouTube channels. If you're not gonna tell your followers to raise hell and help get support Grandmaster J. If you're not going to tell them to do that, then you should shut the fuck up. You should not come on your big channels and platforms and trash Jam Grandmaster J and talk about, I told you so, I told you this, and I told you that. Don't nobody want to hear that fucking shit. We got a guy here in my town who do the exact same thing that Grandmaster J does, but he always trashing Grandmaster J. Right here in my town. To me, that is that's agent shit right there to me. When you trash the leader of another movement. Because he ain't doing it the way you do it. You hear me, Tariq? Probably not, but I'm just saying. So if you're not gonna if you if you in other words, if you ain't got nothing nice to say or supportive to say or throw your support behind him then and you really can't get behind him and you never liked him at least do the do the do the uh have the decency to shut the fuck up about it and don't let white people know 
how much infighting there is within the black empowerment movement as a whole. How much infighting there is. Because believe me, they already know. But ain't no need to drive the point home. You feel me? So that's where I'm at. Anyway, I hope that things turn out right for Grandmaster Jay because I really like him. I really listen to his stuff. And I find him to be one of the realists. I mean, I learn shit from him that I don't learn from a lot of other people. And I learn a lot of other shit from people, you know, because I listen to a wide variety of stuff. And you can't, you know, you can't take and agree with everything anybody says. I mean, Professor Black Truth and, and, and Jason Black both get on my nerves sometimes, but I listen to them all the time. My man Corey Holcomb, all the time. You know? Um, Harvey, Superboy223 used to be his website. He's out in your world now. I listen to him all the time. I don't agree with everything anybody says. But that makes you a well-rounded person because you can sift through and get what you need and know to be true and know to be fact and roll with that. But um, don't get on your big motherfucking twenty, thirty, dollars $100,000 uh, subscriber platforms and start trashing Grandmaster J. That would be fucked up to me. I'm going to leave y'all with that, TC, and I'm out.